How hot can it be? Welcome along to another review from us. This time, as you might be able to tell, it is the latest generation John Deere 6R tractor. In particular, this is the mid-frame model and it's the highly anticipated, the highly talked about 6R185 model. So the flagship of the mid-range series. So, following on from our sort of like first impression piece that we did with this tractor earlier on in 2022, I think it was back in January, we went out to Langer to have a catch up with the John Deere boys. Uh, they gave us basically all the ins and outs, all the facts and figures about this uh, this new development, this new uh, 6R185. We took it for a little bit of a spin on the road, like I said. At that stage, it was just a bit of a first impression. However, we've now got our hands on it, we're putting it in the field and we're seeing what's what really. We're seeing if it lives up to all that hype and all that expectation. So, as you can see, I'm joined by my old mucker here, Mr. Simon Henley from Farm Machinery Journal. So, we're double headering it today yeah. to find out what's what. So, I mean, Simon, just to kick off, whereabouts in the world are we? Because you've invited me along today, we're on your patch. Because it's unusual. We are in West Leicestershire and we are working on the farm. Very kindly, my dear friend Ashley Davis has invited us to come down here and do some work for him. Um, so we are, well, we're currently, as we go up down now, we are pulling a five leg cousin's subsoiler behind us. Yeah. And she knows about it. Oh, she oh, does. she knows about it. But we'll get to more about that in a little bit. So, as ever, if you are watching this on one of our social media channels on YouTube and Facebook, etc. Unfortunately for you guys, this video is going to run out for you in a bit because I'm a bit of a tight bugger. But, to watch the full review video, head on over to that there, LandPowerTV.com. Like I say, you'll get the uh, review video in full. You'll get all the specs. No adverts, you can make your playlists, all lovely stuff like that. And as Mr. Simon Henley is here, you'll also be able to read about it in that there. Our Machinery Journal. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't put it better myself. But for now, we shall crack on. I think before we kick off and get stuck into kind of our flavour of this tractor and what we find, I think we'll give you a little bit of background just in case you've not seen our first impression video and if you haven't seen that go check it out on landpowertv.com because we've got all the facts and figures from John Deere so we ain't going to go through all that again this is about basically what we're going to find isn't it so yeah, it is, so to give you a little bit of background the 6R series launched 2011 way back when so she's been around a little bit now she's had a few updates along the way it's made up of four wheelbase or four chassis sizes in the series now so like i said this is the mid-frame model i think there's four there's four new models in the 6r series now i think there's a new 140 and 150 in the four cylinder series in the short wheelbase and in this sort of mid-size chassis there's the new 165 and there's this new 185 so i think in total there are 14 models now in the 6R range to choose from. So going all the way from the 6R110 all the way up to the 6R250. So I think it's fair to say, particularly with these new additions of these new four models, John Deere's really upping the power to weight ratio. Uh, got, a, got itself a few pocket rockets these days. Has, I think this particular tractor, um, which I always tend to quote this, but this particular tractor 
which what, what it tipped the scale at just over seven tons this gives you about 33 kilos per horsepower which is pretty damn yeah, good it's the magic number isn't it? it is it's the magic number that they're all striving for if you're below 35 you're doing you're doing well and this one comes in about 33 so power to weight ratio is an important aspect of what they're doing with this tractor it's essentially it's it's a the old 6155r on steroids yeah and i think and i think this is what we're going to find but this is what pretty much we've all been waiting for i'm pretty sure we're really i think so i think it's a, a very important model in the new yeah. john deere 6r liner a very important model and i i personally think that they're gonna when people try these tractors that they're gonna sell you reckon I'm hot cakes? Show, i think they will hot be cakes? a popular tractor yes, there we I go think, i think they will right so there you go then i mean there's quite a few updates for us to get our teeth stuck into not least this extra power but the dash has moved there's new model numbering on the side of the bonnet there's a few little tweaks to styling and things like that but i think for now we shall we'll roll a montage and then we'll get stuck in shall we yeah, spot on of sort of cabin control chat and we'll kick off with the thing that's pretty much the first thing that hits you strikes you as soon as you get on in this tractor is the fact that the dash has shifted no longer it's gone. is it here it's disappeared it's I've... over there in an a pillar style i mean what you what are you thinking simon what's your first thoughts on that one well they've done it obviously to give you a little bit more visibility here and we've got the sweeping panoramic windshield wiper this is a trend we've seen and everything. I mean, I know Case have been doing it forever, but this is a trend we're seeing with a lot of people now, with a lot of manufacturers, because it's out the way, it's where you look because you naturally look it's that in way your anyway. Eye, it's in your eye level, Something isn't it? Like, you're not getting anything hidden behind a steering wheel. You've got no fuss, no complicated, no complicated gauges, you know, that you can't read properly or anything like that. That's it, you're not looking oh, round the steering no, wheel or no, anything like not, that? You're not at all. Everything about this cab, I mean, it's not, interior wise I, i'd say this other manufacturers might have a little bit more fit and finish refinement but as a cab itself it's very well put together there's no groans no squeaks no creaks it's black to cool yeah, that's it as a proper i don't know down to earth workplace yeah it's it's a good one and it's, it's always been quite a good one really hasn't it? Has. in the six eyes yeah, it has i know today we you came on and we've got the funky monkey screen which is <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, that's mine. <laughs> so we set it all up, but the, the, the fact that the point of the doing it was to show, demonstrate the fact that you can customise your screen to suit what you're doing, yeah, yeah. Is, and it's easily done. 